to be probably getting a very aggressive match, but getting into this first game here, definitely expecting, um, you know, me, um, Re to just, like, kind of play very um, patiently at least, especially considering how, you know, Roy is just, he wants to be the aggressor, he wants to just press all the buttons, just get in there and get out. So already seeing, getting some neutral going in, getting to this first game, we have just a little bit of neutral coming in, ledge trapping. Yeah, mm -hmm. Re does not want Roy near him, and it's that's just gonna be the whole gameplay for Re is trying to keep that space because the Me Sword Fighter has a lot of setups, but they need space to go for it, and Roy wants anything but that. So you can already see a uh, car flow just not letting Re breathe at all, and it's clearly benefiting him. I think he's got 118% already. Absolutely. We're just getting some like really nice blood trap going in here, and it's just really hard for Re to actually get off of the platform and already wow. taking that first stock Weak from hit too. That's absolutely so crazy. Honestly, so uh, getting a little combo going on. Actually, it's showing a little bit of life. Um, yeah, at the ledge is going to be where Re can capitalize and get these stocks because Tornado will hit every ledge hang in addition to covering jump and uh, neutral get up pretty well. Absolutely. And then, wow, going to absolutely just poorly mispunished, you know, up smash there and going to lose their second stock to um, Roy S smash and just already not being able to even breathe, just like, Taking on 68% already. Carflow is just honestly doing so much right now. We love that. Yeah, it's it's Carflow's game to lose right now. There's really no reason for uh, them to give Re anything because they have such an insane lead right now. So if they just keep up this ag aggressive pressure and not let Re get too much off of a conversion, there's no reason they should not have this game in the bag. Absolutely. I mean, looking at already here, you know, it looks like Re doesn't even have a chance to kind of let trap them at, at most. Very nice from Carflow, just like being able to get off and going to lose that last stock. That was a three, two stock. Two stock, oh, quick two stock. stock. Yeah. Very nice though. As soon as uh, Carflow got that lead, Re just kept co going in because they had a bit of desperation to close it out to even it up, and Carflow just capitalized off that so well. Every time Re held forward, there was a dash back side V, like the end there, or just a dash back grab. Any option to cover Re going aggressive because that's not what Me Swordfire's gameplay is. They can't go in like that. They gotta Absolutely. keep space. But when you have the lead, you can't afford to keep that space. Mm -hmm. So. The also kind of thing too is that when you're actually, you know, like playing against somebody who's very aggressive, you also need to be able to slow down the tempo of the match at any time. You know, you may be down at the lead or down in the lead, but it doesn't really matter how down you can be as long as you can uh, control that space. You can take back a lead real quick. So just hoping, you know, we kind of understands what ha was happening and tries to kind of prevent all the situations that happened that led them to being a disadvantage for almost the entire game. So definitely getting into this next game. Ooh. Battlefield right here. I think Re wants Battlefield to try to prevent um, Roy coming down with super aggressive landings. The platform's giving some protection to spam projectiles. Um, if that that would be my guess. For mm -hmm. Another thing too is that actually Battlefield has a really good you know kind of situation for people who actually like to um, kind of catch a lot of landings. And I can definitely see how this would actually work for Re, just being able to kind of control the space along with the platform to kind of just control, you know, how Carflow lands, as we kind of already see not really working out too well, just... Wow, that is so strong. Actually, I like making it pretty even so far. Yeah, and that's what I've been talking about. Tornado up B, that's Re's bread and butter. They're going to be looking for that the entire set. <clears throat> um, But for sure, very nice taking that first stock in. They really kind of just took that, like, like stock back. That was actually kind of crazy. And oh, that cape was almost brutal. That could have spelled a lot of danger for any of these people, but going to lose their first stock, making it pretty even. We actually love this from Re. Yeah, definitely. I think Re is understanding when they have to press the buttons they do. They know that um, Carflow is going to be landing on them with aggressive options, and they're finally starting to do stuff like that jump back for Air and a lot of retreating options to punish that, but that was greedy. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Really nice. Gonna just steal that stock really quickly. Just, wow, very nice. Pulling a little bit of a link there. Yeah. That's actually crazy. They call it the hero spin, the, the um, up B, and I believe it's because it's plainly just a bigger version of Link's. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that could have been the stock. Car flow, not confident to pull the trigger on the last side B. Yeah, honestly, definitely kind of liking the um, lead trapping coming in 
from Marie, but I can also feel like it can be a little bit better because honestly, like when you have a lot of hitbox that actually stay out for a little bit longer, you end up just losing your, you know, ledge trapping situation and just losing your stock just like that. Very even, you know, Carflow may have gotten a little bit eaten up a little bit, you know, just might have been, you know, losing some, losing some life there, but still trying to make it as even as possible. Yeah, it's all a matter of car flow getting this advantage like right now, and he's got to hold it. He's got to make sure Reed does not get a chance to set up space again. And if he does that, there's no reason he should not take this game. Ooh, but went for a hard read right there, and Reed's now going to get the ledge. Mm, trying to cover some aerials there. Not really too sure what that was for, but very nice trying to get back onto stage by using that um, reflector, but just going to end up right back off stage where they once were. Just trying to fight their way back off. And I mean, honestly, oh, car flow, oh. ooh, that could have... Oh, but good recovery. Take it. Good recovery. Absolutely. Yeah. So that was really nice coming in from both of these, you know, um, players. You know, um, Reed did kind of show a little bit more life towards that second game, but couldn't really, you know, do the whole thing and just, like, kind of take out that second game. That definitely could have been, you know, a uh, game three situation. But, you know, more, all the more to learn from. Just learning, you know, and just taking note of, like, what kind of happened when you were playing that game. Yeah, right sure. there, you see Roy just immediately reacting after missing the jab bear, not letting it phase him. Um, and yeah, I agree 100% that Ryu was definitely starting to get a bearing on the set. Um, every time that they had Roy on ledge, it was almost the game. Um, it's just a matter of the Roy knowing how to mix up ledge options so that they don't get hit by one of the few few like options B Sword Fighter has because they're good options but they're limited regardless. So if you know the matchup, you can know when to avoid them. And I think um, Car Flow, despite it being closer, kept kept their composure and that's what really made them win the set. They punished Ree's aggressive options towards the end, which got Ree off stage, and that really was what let them get such a high rack of damage. So yeah, absolutely. And you know like. A lot of situations like that can be good where, like, you know, you are kind of making, you know, the breath, like, the bringing back life to your gameplay, like, you know, towards the second game. But you also need to make sure that, like, you know, you kind of need to put a little bit more, um, put a little bit more, you know, oomph into it and just, like, kind of being very wary of everything because, you know, you can kind of just, like, you know, just lose all that, you know, kind of life that you have to begin with. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And next we have uh, Cruncho 